Hi, I'm back. I don't know what happened. Um, <laughs> so I was uh, pulling cards. I pulled a card for Jessica and pulling cards for a few others that have asked for some support and some guidance. And something weird happened with the Wi-Fi and it cut me off, I think. I don't know. So can you please let me know if you can hear me, see me, experience me. And if you're watching the replay, just type the word replay below so that I know that you're joining me afterwards. Um, I'm just going to see if I can share this into the post. Probably not. This technology stuff sometimes just gets a little bit overwhelming. But I'm just going to go from here and I have my laptop beside me so you'll see me looking over this way. Um, hey Vanessa, yay, you're here. Can you hear me? Is everything normal? Technology's not going crazy. <laughs> um, I'm just going to look at my laptop here to make sure that everything is happening. Hi Nikki, yay. Okay, it looks like maybe it's a bit blurry. Is it blurry for you guys? I don't know. It seems uh, good on mine, but not on this one. Who knows? Whatever, it's fine, it's fine. So Jessica, I just wanna know if you actually received the guidance from the card that I pulled for you. If you could do me a favor, Jess, when you watch this, um, whether you're here with me now or if you're watching the replay, let me know if you received that guidance and if you didn't, um, then of course I'll pull it for you again. Um, but I just wanted to make sure that you actually got that. The card, Jess, that I did pull for you was hope is the conduit for miracles, okay? Oh, Jess, you're here. Okay, please tell me if you received what I had shared with you before. And oh, okay, from here, Nikki, we are going to step into, oh, Jess, you did great. Nikki, we're going to step into your question, okay, now that you're here with me. So Nikki, your question is, how do I keep finding the strength to go forward on this chosen path? Mm, I can feel the, whew, I can feel the energy behind that, Nikki. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> through prayer and meditation I create a ripple effect of peace in the world this is your card Nikki Nikki this card is incredible for I do know the experience that you're going through right now I don't know what it's like for you but I know of it and what I see for you in this card and in this experience is this is your opportunity to show up and create that ripple effect. You are the chosen one to go through this immense challenge and struggle that you're going through, this immense physical experience, emotional experience, spiritual experience. And in doing so, it's because you have the ability to take that opportunity and turn it around into something peaceful and beautiful. You have the strength inside of you. You have the, the charisma, the ability, the connection to self, the strength that you require in order to take take something so negative and rebirth it into something positive. And that's what I see in this card for you is through prayer and meditation. So through your devotional practices that you have in place for you, you create a ripple effect of peace in the world. Not just an, a ripple effect, but a ripple effect of peace. If you can go through everything that you're going through and still be such an incredible, positive, powerful, amazing human being, there's no other option but to create that beautiful ripple effect in the world. So again, Here's your card, Nikki. Mm. Oh, that feels good. And um, everyone, as I'm going through these, feel free to comment in, share some love to each other, um, and just share with me how it, how it feels to receive this card for yourself too. Okay, let's see who else do we have here. Who else is on with me? Can you guys... Um, oh, Nikki, <laughs> you just got a call from the hospital. Okay, Nikki, yes, please watch the replay. I'll just show you your card one more time. Through prayer and meditation... I create a ripple effect of peace in the world. Okay, you can listen to the replay so that you can listen to, to my interactions with that. Um, so I'm going back to the post that I posted previously today of who wanted to ask a question, have me pull a card. So that's where I'm reading from. If you're here with me live, can you um, comment in so I can see who's here with me? And if any of you have any specific questions, Vanessa, I don't think you commented on this um, on my thread. If you have a specific question or anything you'd like to receive, just uh, let me know now, okay? So I'm going to move on to Danny Love. Mm, Danny, how nice to see you online. We got to enjoy um, being at Shine Live together in Kelowna. And it was really wonderful, Danny. It was really nice to connect with you and meet you. So thanks for showing up here today. <sighs> Danny, three aspects of me are showing themselves. Which do I bring to the forefront? Mm -hmm. <laughs> obstacles are detours in the right direction okay so this is for Danny 
obstacles are detours in the right direction. So Danny, I don't know the experience that you're going through right now, but this card to me represents that there has recently or soon to be something that is causing you to take a complete change in directional shift. So maybe a complete different focus, a complete different experience of something you've already been doing. And that this obstacle or this this something that occurred that caused you to change your direction was there on purpose and was meant to be. So however you're showing up in this new direction, this new focus, this new perspective or this new element of who you are, to me that is showcasing that that is the right direction for you to be in. That's how you're going to serve and show up for others more. That's how you that's who you're supposed to bring to the forefront. That individual who's willing to take this obstacle and go, "Okay, I guess we're going this way now and really own that and take that in. So Danny, I hope that, mm, I hope that rings in true for you. Obstacles are detours in the right direction. Incredible. Uh, okay, Vanessa, oops, I didn't see your other thread. I'm not sure what to ask right now, but if there's time, could you pull a card for me and see what needs to be communicated? Absolutely. Vanessa, since you're here with me live, I will do so right now. Oh, Vanessa ooms, Vanessa ooms, Vanessa ooms. <laughs> oneness is my true nature oneness is my true nature um from our conversation today to be honest i feel like this doesn't even require any words from me i'm just gonna leave that with you okay Incredible. Whew, this is so fun. Okay, Kasha. Kasha, Kasha, Kasha. So Kasha, if you're watching the replay, go ahead and just comment in below and let me know that you saw the replay. <sighs> oh, Kasha, you're having a freak out kind of day and losing focus. Girl, I hear you. This happens to me more often than I like to admit. <laughs> how do I get back in the game is your question. Okay. Okay, how do I get back in the game? Hmm, Kasha. Mm, Kasha, I am the dreamer of my dream. Okay, girl, for this one, I think that this is all about you coming back to the core root of who and why you are here. What is your purpose? So, so sometimes we get so caught up in all the things that we have to do or we need to do or that need to ex we need to experience or make happen or whatever it is, and we lose sight of our dream. We lose sight of our core. We lose sight of our why. I recommend and, and would suggest that this card is showing up for you today in this chaos that you're feeling right now to bring you back into your core. Why are you here? Who are you here to serve? How can you show up in that element now, in this moment today? Dream your own dream. Everything that you desire in your life is possible when you create your own life. And you're doing so through your thoughts, through your, your experiences in your mind, through the actions that you're taking. Bring yourself back to your why. Bring yourself back to your deep-hearted, deep-rooted dream. And I think that everything else will begin to fall into place. So for Kasha, I am the dreamer of my dream. Mm. Oh my goodness, these are so fun. Okay. <laughs> so Jess, we've done yours. Helena. Oh, hi, Helena. Oh, I miss you, my darling. I miss you so much. Will my patience be rewarded? And then emoji. <laughs> nice. Okay. Okay, well, I, first of all, I just want to say yes, um, <laughs> but I'm going to pull a card for you. But yes, Helena, um, from what I know of you and who you are and the um, energy that you bring forward, yes, but I don't know that it will be rewarded in a way that you're expecting. Mm, wow, that's just coming through me right now. Um, yeah, you will be rewarded. I'm not positive that it's going to show up in the way that you're expecting, but that's okay. We'll pull a card as well. So for Helena, my outer experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. <laughs> so hmm, with that, it almost is a bit of, I know you're being patient. I know you're doing what feels right and like you should in this moment. Where are you not being honestly true to yourself inside? Where are you not connecting deeply into who you are inside and what is important to you? in order to, to receive this, um, the reward on the external world. So my outer experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. Now my original thought process and what 
flowed through me was that yes, you will be rewarded, but perhaps not in the way that you're expecting, anticipating or wanting. So where inside of you are you taking these actions for an external outcome as opposed to an internal fulfillment, peace and happiness? Does that make sense? Um, Helena, feel free to reach out to me about that if that doesn't make any sense and we can talk about it a little bit deeper. Oh, I might be losing my connection again. What the heck? Can you, um, hey, hey, Ava, I see that you're here with me. Can you do me a favor and give me a, a like a woohoo if you can hear me? <laughs> mm. 